and uh, more precisely you have to open the google drive that is a place where you have uh, created your google form because your google form has been created from uh, your drive so go to your google drive and here that is a, a google form which you have created for your data collection open that google form uh, that was a google form which you have created before and uh, when you open this google form you you have an option of responses here and uh, uh, when you click here you will find an option in the right corner of the google form and uh, just click on this and you will get your responses in a, in excel format so that is uh, <clears throat> a sheet containing the uh, data containing the responses so now you are going to change uh, you are going to import this data into your spss so in order to do that you have to click on the file then you have to go on the download option and from the download option you have to download this file go to file then download from here microsoft excel and uh, now save this file as microsoft excel worksheet i'm saying uh, saving this file at to desktop so save it now go to the <coughs> uh, uh, go to that excel file which you have already saved now open this excel file and from here you have to just uh, enable editing now there is a problem that uh, you will find certain problems uh, in the data for example here are certain responses which have already been uh, entered and uh, these responses cannot be retrieved or cannot be get into the spss so just uh, well, you want to change these into numbers so for example when you uh, enter uh, here in the google form question number one that was male and female and if you are interested to code these as one and two so in the excel sheet you have to use the find and replace command so uh, from here just click replace and uh, from here you type mail and replace it with one and from here you have to replace all it has been done and uh, now you have a uh, education uh, level and from here uh, just see what where was the intermediate so uh, you can give it a code of one so find and replace command control h so just uh, copy it and uh, paste it here Find and replace it with one okay now same is the case with the management level now see here the upper management level is a first level so i think we have to replace this upper management level uh, from here and uh, replace all and uh, this is a metric data this is also data which can be read now this is another thing a little bit that was uh, on our google form and uh, that was question number one and uh, this is uh, not at all and it is related to one two three four five and uh, here is a response of a little and this is basically response number two a little so just uh, this copy this a little and uh, replace it with two you have to see the codes of your data so uh, these seven replacements have been made and actually when you see in the following questions to jahan jahan aapka wo tha likha hua theek hai ki jahan jahan tha na ki a little us course ne uski coding se replace kar diya ab ye dekhen ki not at all 
किस नंबर पे है नॉट एट ऑल इज एट वन सो जस्ट गो देयर कॉपी इट नॉट एट ऑल एंड कंट्रोल एच एंड टाइप हेयर नॉट एट ऑल एंड इट्स वन रिप्लेस ऑल ये भी रिप्लेस हो गया जी इसके अलावा और देखें इसमें क्या है वंस आर ट्वाइस दिस वाज वंस आर ट्वाइस वाज इन सम अदर क्वेश्चंस एंड हेयर वंस आर ट्वाइस मीन टू सो गो हेयर एंड फ्रॉम हेयर जस्ट कॉपी इट कंट्रोल एच एंड इट इज टू सो रिप्लेस ऑल And one replacement have been made because मेरे पास डेटा बहुत कम है ना अगर आपके पास डेटा ज्यादा होगा तो आप उसे इस तरह से रिप्लेस कमांड से सारा डेटा जो है वो नुमेरिक में कन्वर्ट कर लोगे और भी ये विद इन नो टाइम हो जाएगा ठीक है अब इसको आपने सेव करवा देने अब आपने एस पी एस एस को ओपन करना है ठीक है आई बी एम एस पी एस एस जब आप ओपन करेंगे तो उसमें आपने इस एक्सल की शीट को आपने सिंपली उधर इम्पोर्ट करवा लेना है और ये दैट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल ऑप्शन कि इससे आपका जो है वो चीजें बेहतर हो जाएंगी आसानी से आपका डाटा जो है वो इंपोर्ट हो जाएगा ये देखिए ये आपका माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल है एंड नाउ यू हैव टू जस्ट इंपोर्ट डाटा एंड एंड इंपोर्ट डाटा फ्रॉम एक्सेल यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट इंपोर्ट डाटा फ्रॉम एक्सेल so just uh, uh, go to the desktop because we have saved our file at desktop with questionnaire responses and click on open when you click on open uh, there will come here uh, <coughs> uh, remove leading spaces from string okay ji thank you these all large things have been imported and now go to the excel and here you will find all your uh, questions in your label these are the labels and now here change the uh, variable names so give short names to the variables uh, that is position that is uh, uh, experience that is age that is supervisor support 1 that is supervisor support 2 that is supervisor support 3 that is supervisor support 4 this is supervisor support 5 this is supervisor support 6 and this is supervisor support 7 and this is supervisor support 8 and uh, uh, that was the second variable and second variable was related to counterproductive work behavior so i just uh, see wb1 so the, in this way you can import your data and uh, here that is a time stamp now go to the data view and you can see that here is the data so now go to the variable and uh, now here you have to assign the values because you have uh, uh, that is a gender so uh, in the gender you have assigned two things uh, and if you see your uh, google form and here one for uh, male and the uh, two for female so you have to give this coding here uh, that is value is 1 and label is for male and 2 is for female so you have to give these codes here now go to the uh, questions and then here you have uh, assign uh, you have to sign according to the answers of these things for example that was related to your education and uh, here you have to give this coding for example one was for intermediate so you have to enter here two for bachelor so, uh, you have to put here bachelor yeah, three for master four for 
एम फिल एंड फाइव फॉर पी एच डी सो ऑल दीज कोडिंग हैज बीन असाइंड हेयर now go to the position and uh, here was uh, one for upper uh, management and uh, here are spelling mistake and uh, the second was middle uh, management and uh, third for uh, lower okay you have to give the things here now go to the experience and that is uh, a numeric variable and uh, you have to give the scale here uh, now don't uh, give assign any value here go to other that is uh, related to the age and when we talk about the age you give uh, you take an uh, open ended answer and even you take a Uh, date of that data so put, don't uh, assign any value to this variable now go to the question number 1 and that was related to the uh, question number 1 was supervisor support and these were not at all and uh, a little bit and something like that so just uh, assign values here for example one was for Uh, not at all two was for a little and uh, three for um, somewhat three for somewhat four for often and uh, five for very much so you have to find these values here uh you have to assign these values now just copy these values from here and paste on these things these eight question were ranked on these anchors but we Uh, counterproductive work behavior was measured than on an other anchor and from here you have to see the anchors and there are certain other anchors for example there is never for one so in microsoft uh, in ibm spss you have to give the uh, coding of those and you have to put never and two for that was for uh, i think uh, once are twice so just copy it and uh, paste it to here now add it the three is related to the uh, once are twice per month copy it and uh, paste it to here add it and the fourth one was for the uh, once are twice per week and uh, in this way you can add it here add and uh, now every day that was related to the every day so you have to assign the value number 5 for every day so add it here and click okay now just go to your data sheet and now just click in here and you will get the all the values that is why that was a very simple process of importing your data from your microsoft uh, word or from a uh, microsoft excel or from your google form